goals for this product, it's, it's about making the best Saints Row game we've ever done. What's going on with the camera, man? Practically tailor-made for Saints Row. The biggest and best Saints Row playground yet. It is this weird combination that I don't see in any other games out there of humor, of over-the-top, and of badass. It's been in development since Agents of Mayhem, as, as far as I'm aware. Bitch. We want to take our time to make sure that, you know, the reboot is done Dumb with as much care. Bitch. Rich in culture, rich in diversity and history. Dumb Embrace bitch. your identity and revel in it. Bitch, shut the fuck up. We're actually blocking ourselves from the massive creativity we have at the studio. Did he really just say that? Did he really just say that? The highest compliment that I think that you can pay to a reboot is to say, oh wow, it feels the same, but different. When you smoke too much crack. Kevin is shirtless, I don't know why. Kev wants to be a TV chef. I mean, Kevin is... <laughs> Kevin's, Kevin's great. Kevin. He's so fun. I mean, <laughs> He's so fun. Or so she says to her cats. We've created a set of characters that you're going to want to invite in your living room every day. Uh, with the Southwest, there's really not any place quite like it. Uh, there's so much cool art. There's so much cool life. What does it mean to be alive? Designed a lot of systems and leveraged a lot of systems to sort of keep that open world ambient spawning alive. This idea we had a whole open world team um, working on all those those kinds of issues on how do we keep the city feeling alive. Um, so there was a lot of work that went into it. If you say so. It's in good hands and it's just a matter of wait and see. We promise you like we're, we're doing, you know, right by this and we're making sure we're doing it right. Shit. There's going to be a, a vocal contingent of people who are, are not going to be happy with it. And I think we always knew that that was going to happen early on. And I think we always had pretty good confidence that the more we showed, um, the more that that we would bring some of those people around. And, you know, every... I was... <laughs> I don't know why I was reading the comments, but I was reading the comments. You don't know why you were reading the comments, you ignorant developer. No worries. This will be the last relevant thing Volition does. I think we've made something magic. I think we've made something great. The minute I saw it, I'm like, that's Saints Row right there. That's it. You'll be on the floor laughing because it's just the funniest thing in the universe. But then you have to take that step back and you've got to say like, okay, is that appropriate for this setting? Is that appropriate for this mission? Like, is that too far? Like, like why don't you sell like Saints Row to like Matt and Trey Parker since you couldn't keep a baby entertained on an iPad with this glorified early access mobile app you're calling a game. Volition was thoroughly warned and chose instead to mock, censor, and take every avenue but the one where they douse themselves in gasoline, so I congratulate Volition on what was their obvious goal. Hello, beta testers. Volition Saints Row 2022 was delayed six months and is a technical disaster shamelessly asking $60 plus as a product that does not function properly. Game crashes, lost progress, players frozen in place, weapons going missing, stuck companions, stuck enemies, can't take people hostage, can't hold places up, heist missions where you wait in the car, no visual gun customization, falling through the map, developers too pussy to punch up. Or is it down? I don't know, and I don't care. That's the general sentiment regarding Saints Row 2022. We're always punching up. We want to be absurdist, we don't want to be mean. Nowadays, we want to laugh with everybody, not at people. You know, it's it's basically, you can be funny and still be decent. Wow, some, dude. Some things we did did not age well, and we're not doing that. What the fuck? A bonus. Actual fuck? What the actual goddamn Just fuck? Human. Never the believe. The uh, goddamn motherfucking goddamn fuck. Uh, crap, 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 The last music. Crap, goddamn fucking shit. Crap, there might be some music right now. Bitch ass I don't know. Swipe, Probably is. Swipe, crap, 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 and crap. Please don't be too harsh in the comments. Why? Why can't people be harsh in the comments? Because it makes brand look bad? Because harsh is a term typically associated with reality? And you fake corporation gargling shills can't have anybody speaking ill of brand, even when it's objectively repulsive? 
Saints Row 2022 has achieved the unthinkable in making most reviewers break their own rule and refusing to finish it. It's like a movie that everybody just walks out of. In this video, I'll prove that even with all of the hundreds of bugs fixed, Saints Row is an amateur, deliberately mundane, dated, and poorly designed chore. People play games for an escape. Or to keep things in terms that investors can understand, people pay for games to escape. Volition developers alienated, divided, and argued with fans a year before launch, a boneheaded decision for any brand as fans provide free promotion and reach communities that typical marketing could never effectively target. The fans were vocal against Volition's choices, knowing full well how broke these choices would make Volition, but they were met with ridicule and condescension. Developers made their intention to sanitize and miss the mark abundantly clear with their woke, hipster, bowtie gangbangers who are decent. Brunch? If you want a $300 waffle maker, you're gonna help me get the waffle maker. Throw in 20 bucks for a waffle maker. What sort of waffle maker can I get for 35 bucks? One that makes fucking waffles? Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs> Hey. Right before they walk outside and then steal a car? So, Nina, are we taking your project car? Fuck no, I'm not risking my baby over rent. We're boosting cars from down the street. I, you, do you think the car might net you enough if you were to sell it or scrap it uh, for a waffle maker? Or even rent money? I love that you're worried about fuel efficiency. Brunch is a time for friends and mimosas. I never miss nacho night. I'm in line for nachos right now. I really wanted those nachos. Just wanted some damn nachos. How about those nachos? Embracer should understand that this studio is a blight and should be carved out like the cancer they are before it silently assassinates more of what it touches. This woke garbage is the opposite of what people want and insecure people censoring only the women in this mature experience with shooting and stabbing and you know it's like mortal kombat where, where you're ripping out spines but you better cover up those ladies boobs you know what i mean girls love to cosplay that but they gotta take it take the dinosaur out of jurassic park people put effort into their appearance and like to show off what they have act like you have friends act like you've been to a gym act like you've had sex one time no one is forced to look at these characters and they don't need to be made deliberately ugly to protect people's feelings any more than magazines all need to have exclusively little people on them so they don't feel left out everybody should snap instead of clapping because some people have hearing shut the fuck up inclusion should never come at the cost of excluding we can share it's far more profitable that way anyway when you subscribe to a only one gender, one race, one sexual orientation ideology, you are the problem. The female form is not evil, no matter how little pussy some of these developers are out here getting. Science backs that up, but I know y'all niggas can't read, right? Volition sent out documents full of ways that their unfinished game could buckle and break. Yet there's the system designer dropping petty tweets, disregarding the admitted fact that their game is broken, correcting people's grammar when they can't even do their job effectively. Literally ironic, considering the story in Saints Row deals with students stealing and killing to pay off their student loans, a situation they put themselves in. Volition already faced bankruptcy after Agents of Mayhem, so they formed a team of Millhouses to develop a safe game even Millhouse would probably admit sucks. So woke that no one talented would work on it. Bad writing, cheap voiceovers, stock music instead of licensed music, copy and pasted code, a regression from a 13 year old game and lazy in a way that's literally offensive. But people already hated you well before all of this. It helps when developers have the correct attitude in responding to valid criticism, specifically before they've got people's money. But thankfully, Volition missed this memo. And, you know, there'll be people who hate it. You know, just to hate it. Um, and, you know, every... <laughs> I was... I don't know why I was reading the comments, but I was reading the comments. <laughs> and, uh, you know...
I'm gonna skull fuck that bitch. Don't know why they read the comment sections. And they're more than right to consider you scumbags when the people that represent you speak down to people that know better than them. And you're giving the Discord and Reddit mods recognition for maintaining your echo chambers, one of which I was just banned from after less than a week of interaction. What Elmo have here? Elmo done playing games. I'll leave up the post that got me banned so you can judge whether or not it was civil according to the reason for my <laughs> being banned. I want nothing to do with it. Anybody who respects themselves should want nothing to do with it. If you've crafted a garbage game for Twitter, don't expect anybody else to appreciate it. Listeners, thank you for liking and subbing, but understand I only felt like covering this because shills refuse to be honest. The state of these games is outrageous and they'll only get better if people are real. The type of reel that this game <laughs> did not appeal to. I'm proud of any and all of you who avoided this and are voting with your wallets because it's the only way to bring about change. Seems like the Eastern developers are the only ones who want our money these days anyway. Embracer, if you're curious as to why Volition specifically is so deeply despised, this is the answer. Allow me to read some Reddit comments outside of the echo chamber run by the Saints Row community moderators that Volition loves. In a post addressing Embracer's stock price falling following Saints Row's release, the top answer reads, Good. They made a garbage game and their investors should be punished for allowing it. A response reads, Everybody 100% saw this coming italics nobody put the brakes on this thing a response to that reads not for lack of trying when the first trailer dropped everyone with a brain told volition this wouldn't fly and volition told everyone to f off that this was saints row now <laughs> they earned this l and they worked super hard to get it you can say that again it wouldn't have cost them anything to just ignore me but they had to ban me, big man. So I made sure that what I said, I'm going to say louder. And I'm going to keep saying it louder. Thanks again, cocksucker. 100% they're relatable. I would not do what they do to pay down the student loans, but I get where they're coming from all the time. <laughs> and Eli is just, he's just so lovable. Like, in a way that, I, I don't know, I feel like... Uh, People, as you get to know him some more, it's going to become, you know, a surprising favorite amongst a lot of people.